This is Algebra 2, Lesson 2.7. Two variable linear inequalities. So we are going to be graphing um, on an xy coordinate now because we have two coordinates. Um, and when we do that, we're going to have some shading just like with the one variables. Let's talk about what our different shading situations are going to look like based on our different symbols. So if you see a less than, or a greater than, you will use a dashed line. If you see a less than or equal to, or a greater than or equal to, you will use a solid line. If you see a greater than, or a greater than or equal to, you will shade above the line. And then if you see a less than, or a less than or equal to, you will shade down or below the line. Okay, so we're going to graph like a regular linear equation. Most of these I think are mx plus b. We might have a couple fun ones. Nope, just mx plus b. And once we do that, we're going to do some different funky stuff with the inequality symbol based on that. So let's try the first one. y is greater than negative 2 minus x. This is already an mx plus b form. I have my intercept at negative 2. I have my slope is technically negative 1 because there's an invisible 1 in front of that x. And I like to go over 1 in a fraction so that I have my rise and my run. So I'm going to start at negative 2. My rise is negative 1. That means I'm going to go down 1. And then my run is positive 1, so I'm going to go right 1. So from my intercept, I go down 1, right 1. And I'm going to repeat down 1, right 1. Down 1, right 1. Until I have the boundary line of my inequality. Okay, now based on the fact that this is a greater than symbol, I know that I will use a dashed line instead of a solid line. So I do not want to connect these dots. And because it is a greater than symbol, I know that I will shade above the line. So that is all this noise up here, okay? And you can shade them prettier if you want to, but that's, that's what I'm going for. The end. That's it. So we find the boundary line, just like a regular linear equation. And then based on our inequality symbol, we either connect the dots with a solid line or a dashed line, and then we either shade above or below. Same deal for letter B. Our intercept is two and our slope is three, and we can add over one for our rise over run. We can always divide by one without changing the value of a number. We're gonna start at positive two for my intercept, and then I'm going to go up three over one. If I had some more space, I could go up another three over one. Uh, I'm gonna go backwards two, just because I wanna get as many points as I can fit on my picture. So rise three, run one, up three over one, up three right one, or backwards, down three left one, down three left one, down three left one. Based on my inequality symbol here, I have a less than or equal to. Anytime we have an or equal to, we are drawing the line because that's the line. Y equals two plus three X. This is the line Y equals two plus three X. Then we have a less than, so we're gonna shade everything down from the line. And I want to be mindful that we're not looking at left and right. Because if you look at both of these examples, A and B, they both look like I shaded to the right. Okay? But one is up and one is down in terms of Y. One is up from Y and one is down from Y. And that is my final answer. Letter B, the inequality Y is less than negative 1 plus 2 thirds X is graphed at right check to see whether each point is part of the solution. Okay, so if a point is on a dotted line, it's a no. If it is on a solid line, it's a yes. Anything in the non-shaded area should hopefully obviously be a no, and anything in the shaded area should be a yes, okay? Now, all of our points in this example on the line are going to be no's because it is a dotted line. But if we had had an or equal to, 
then any point on the line would have been a yes, okay? So that's the, the setup there. Let's try the questions, okay? Three, negative two. So from the origin, we go three to the right because our x coordinate is three, two down because our y coordinate is negative two. That point is definitely in the shaded region, so he gets a yes. 3 positive 1 from the origin, 3 to the right, 1 up. Point B is on a dotted line. A dotted line is a no. If it had been a solid line, that would have been a yes, right? If we had had an or equal to, but we don't, so it's not included. C is negative 1, 2 from the origin, 1 left, 2 up. That is definitely in the non-shaded region. And the last one, negative 2, negative 3. One, two, one, two, three. He is a yes. What is this, D? Yes. And that's it. So good luck on the exercises. Please let me know if you have any questions.